Wainui Beach School reached a new milestone when it bagged its first green goal reflection status this Tuesday. The recognition was a part of the Enviro Schools program that was led by Jody Saunders and Kim Kato for the school this year. We feel stoked and real proud of what we have achieved, Enviro Schools program co-leader Jody Saunders said. She said the school was making significant progress in the environment mahi and was invited by the school's Enviro Schools facilitator Cordy Forno to hold a green gold reflection day. Becoming an Enviro School just means you're committing to starting a journey towards sustainability. You're going to work with your community, empower the students and you get the support of a facilitator like me or Kirsty, we're the two facilitators here in Tairawhiti, and it's just a journey. There's no rules about what you do or don't do, it's just a start. The facilitators were later taken for a school tour where they interacted with the kids and asked them questions about what they were working on and how it aligned with the Green Goal statement. Mrs. Forno said as facilitators they were a part of the reflection team that involved school staff, students and environs schools. The gold status was an upgrade to the school's silver that they received four years ago. Mrs. Forno said the status was a celebration and a reflection of the school's amazing journey since becoming an Enviro school in 2014. She said it was a chance for the whole community to see and hear what's been going on. We also met with Rick Field, who was there as a facilitator for the Enviro schools. The school is looking at being sustainable. The school is looking to... Um, involve the students in the decision making as well which is a big part of Enviro School so a lot of the learning is directed by them and then it's providing links through to the community as well through Farnau, getting community involved um, for example the, the little blue penguins getting community involved with that the plantings that they're doing growing the plants and then selling them and, and the honey as well so the bees here it's all kind of taking the whānau, bringing them in, bringing the community in as well. 